Hey guys, on this call, the tenant here said her electric bill was almost $700. Um, so that's why we're here to see if the heating system is functioning correctly. Stay tuned. Inside the thermostat was set for heat and it said the heat was on and this is a heat pump And as you may see it is not running So the first thing I want to check is make sure she's got power Anytime somebody tells me they have a high electric bill and I see that they have a heat pump I'm gonna check and make sure the heat pump is running because the electric heat will make the electric bill go way up. And as you see here, we have no power, nothing to ground, which indicates that inside we have us a trip breaker. So right now I'm checking for continuity to ground, a direct short. And I do have a direct short. So my next step is to focus on the compressor. I can already see by the style of um, cover I have here over the terminals. And in just a second when we see the terminals that this is an older system, like 15 to 20 years old. Most compressors nowadays have plugs on them. You do still see these terminals every once in a while, but not often anymore. I'm looking for burnt terminals, burnt wires. And I'm going to scratch me a spot right here to um, confirm, to use to confirm whether or not we have a short to ground. A, a spot that I can test over and over. And I'm getting a short to ground. So yes, this compressor is shorted to ground. Now I wanna look and see how old it is. This was made in 2020 and it's a R22 system. So for me that totals this system and it's time to start thinking about a complete new system and look at this as an estimate instead of a repair. And up here, I'm just looking to see what we've got to see what I need to do a, a good change out. It looks like we're gonna need a disconnect and maybe lift the air handler a little bit, but that's it. Well, I guess it was, if it's not obvious, that was a heat pump and it normally relies on the heat pump for heat until it gets cold. And a heat pump is about four times more efficient than heat strips and her heat pump was not working and she was relying on her heat strips and, and it just would not shut off. So that is a 24 year old system. 
we are going to submit an estimate to replace the whole system. Thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll catch you on the next one.